Hi, Gray County. It's Rob here. We have a bit of a problem. It's called wild chervil. Let's talk about it. So it's currently the middle of May and wild chervil is now in full bloom in Gray County. Chances are you've seen wild chervil before, but you may not know what this plant is. Wild chervil is an invasive species. It looks very similar to some of our native species around the area, such as wild carrot or Queen Anne's lace. However, wild chervil is a problem. Wild chervil can grow in very dense clusters. These clusters pose a risk to smothering out local vegetation and are of particularly concern to agriculture in Gray County. And Gray County has made some big strides in reducing the amount of wild chervil on Gray County roadsides. But the problem is it doesn't just grow on our side of the fence. All landowners have a responsibility of removing invasive species from their land. If you have wild chervil on property that you own, it is your responsibility to try to get rid of it. Now, wild chervil can be a little bit tricky. The most effective way of eradicating it is through using herbicide sprays. But the sprays that are effective against wild chervil aren't generally available and can only be applied by licensed applicators. However, for smaller clusters, there are things you can do to physically remove the plants from your property. Ideally, wild chervil should be cut before it goes to flower like this. It should be cut as close to the ground as possible. This won't fully kill the plant because it does have a taproot, but it will help prevent the spread of seeds. Smaller stands that have already gone to flower are best to be dug out. Get as much of the taproot as possible, and once the plant is removed, place it in a large plastic garbage bag to dry out for a few days. Pulling wild chervil is far less likely to be effective. As you can see here, the taproot will easily break off when you try to remove it from the ground. One positive thing about wild chervil is that it is non-toxic. It's best to use gloves when working with the plant just in case you have some kind of a reaction, but generally speaking, it's not a problem if a little bit gets on your skin. All right, I think that's all I have for you today. That's the way that we can all work together to do our part to help in the fight against wild chervil. For more information, visit our website, gray.ca.